Hi, oh, yeah, and welcome to Keep Us Creative Flow again. And um, thank you for joining me. Um, so today we are going to look at these prompts. So we've got Paperclip, which is from the Junk Journal January prompt from Meg Journals. I'm giggling because it's like a t total tongue twister, and I'm trying to, yeah, <laughs> trying to get it all out. And then the wood prompt was from the Defemerembra. Um, prompts from by Louisa Heinzel and Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and these tags are by Maud Heimstra and she's a really cool YouTuber in junk journaling and other different things as well so she's all all those people are brilliant to check out for inspiration right so for the wood what I've got here is wait for it wait for it <laughs> something that i was already messing around on with some stamps and it's been living in my pencil case for for many years i would say many years and this is is from it's a slatted blind was this was <laughs> a slatted blind from ikea so yeah if you've got some of these lying around or if you, you know, wanted to save a few, this is what you could do with them. You can actually make them into bookmarks. Really good quality, not going anywhere. So I just, this, I was just experimenting with this, and then, oh, sorry. And then we've also got some numbers. So these are some wood numbers which I thought we could add on as well. Um, I might actually, I might just pull out. The metallic um the metallic rubbons as well so we can use those so my plan was so i've just got a few elements here this is my small flare of rush over box which holds all my paper clips these are all the paper clips that i have um i've just got some embellishments we might not need these just yet but i've got a bead i've got some clock bits which used to be my father-in-law's clock and the clock was broken so we i saved these i was like oh they're lovely and just a a arts and crafts watch so that's just yep so that's that um sorry one second so i was thinking of creating a hole and then adding this as a tag so we're just going to start with that so this is a tool which is called the cropper dial and it's from a company called we are memory keepers i don't know if you can see that um so yeah i'm going to i think i might go on the slightly bigger hole so i'm hope it should go through this because it says it goes through quite a lot of stuff right are we ready ready steady oh yes just like butter it is quite soft as well so perfect and it's not splintered it either so i could add an eyelet here as well you know those metal fancy things but i don't think i'm going to bother with this because it's going to get covered with all of this anyway i'm just going to this was from a belt no it doesn't look like it but it's from a child's belt Actually, should I do that? No, I'll just do it now. <laughs> so which side do I want the front? So we've got black, black, and the blue flower. Or we've got blue, black, blue. Hmm. The numbers are going to go in the middle, aren't they? So let's have a think. You know what? Before you do that, you should really ink round. So I'm going to use some black soot, Distress Oxide by Ranger. Which is a Tim company by Tim Holtz. I've got a different dauber for the black. It's not the one that's dying on me. So I'm just going to go around the edges. Obviously, I'm going to get it all over myself, but that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. Just going to add a bit of this. Oh. 
put it on the lid and it's not even over it. Um, and then thinking of adding, which one, what colour shall we add? I've got this beautiful um, greeny colour that might match this flower. So if we add just a tiny bit around the edges as well, which will help it to pop. Hope you guys are doing all right. Enjoying your day, evening, or afternoon. <laughs> What else is there? <laughs> okay, okay. You know, we could just do a light, light brush over. That looks. It's going in really well into the, to the wood. Give me finger. You could always do this with gloves on if you want, but it activates with um, your body heat, so. And like I said before, I have no idea. This was like one of the first things I got when I first got in, started getting into crafting. So I cannot tell you where that is from. Sorry. Um, so what I might do is actually. So should we go purple? Oh my goodness. Oops. I'm just going purple onto the. Number four, what am I saying? Get it up. That's it. You can do it. <laughs> well, what am I doing in the back? I just need to do the edges because that's going to get stuck down. Of course, it is. I can't get right in there. Any ideas, guys? We'll try doing it with the back of this. Hmm. About this. I think that's the best we're gonna get with that. And even in between here. That's all right, I'm, I'm fine with that. Just deciding which side. You know what, I'm going to emphasise the flowers anyway, so don't worry about that. Okay, so next, um, I was thinking, shall we? I've got a few gems here that we could use. See, look, this is what I was, you know, if you follow me on Facebook, this is what I was talking about a few years ago when I was sorting out the craft room. Look, it's real. They're all in order, size order, colour order. Okay, I'm going to gem both sides, I think. So I've got my Anita's Tacky Glue. I'm going to put a dollop on my glass. Last thing, Majiggy. Just need a dot. Mm. Oh, you already did that. <laughs> Ahead of myself. Oh, that's a different. Oh, you're different. You are a different gemstone. Go back in there. Oh. See, that's faceted and the other one was um, smooth. If it was the other side and they're both the same, then that's fine. But they've got to be the same on the same side. You probably don't think so, but... Yeah, so I've also got some of these um, manuscript 
Kelly Creative Duo Tip. I think they're from the works. They were given to my daughter as a gift. And she, anything that she doesn't use, she leaves in here, <laughs> basically. So I've got that organised. Don't lose your number two. Um, just going over with the black. Now they're not, now they're not uniformed, never mind, don't worry about it, let me get a bit sweet, okay, same on the other side, be careful those gems don't flop off. And if you haven't got um, the thing to do the hole, you could possibly try a hole punch or well, I'm checking if they're faceted or not. Yep, them two are. You go back in there. Um, a drill bit. You could use a drill bit maybe. This one's got a blue vibe going on. We'll go with a slightly darker blue on this one. Let's try the fine tip. Nope, you're not working. Okay, I've just doubled myself. Yep. <laughs> Park the glue there. Oh, wow. You have got glue probably on this now. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Making a mess everywhere. This will be a cool bookmark or something to add into like a pocket or even on the end of the the journal or the book or just checking if they're still in place I quite like the muted side better what do you guys think because actually you can see it with it on there I wonder if it will make a difference if we um, just add a bit more black soot to the letters. Because you can see like the grainy bit coming through, can't you? Yep, you just ripped that tissue, well done. <laughs> oh, see, it's just gone off the knee. Oh, do we like that side? But it will dry clear, so don't worry about the glue on the outside. I quite like that side, you know. Even though that side's cute as well, but... Oh, if it's... Yeah, you will still be able to see both sides, but I think I prefer this side. Right, come back with the glue now that you put it everywhere. Oh dear, what can I do with that? Just adding some on the back of this. Oh no, before I do that, sorry, forgetting the paper clip, aren't we? The paper clip, so, like I said, so some, of, some of these are from, oh, I don't know, well, these are from when my sister used to work in a doctor surgery in Nottingham and they used to give freebies like free stationery and yeah so if you know the make of that medicine <laughs> that's where that <laughs> and then there's this which says handsome on there I think it was part of a tie or something I have no idea but it goes in the paper clips because it's kind of that's a helix one yeah so there's just different sizes and colours I've even got um 
these came these were part of the children's one of their toys so yeah once we got rid of the toy we kept these could be fun on kids cards but you're forgetting what you're doing there we go we need a black oh we don't need that many <laughs> just need one is there one single oh, there we go oh no that's attached as well sorry bear with me So, this was my mad idea. So I was going to put the cape pe cape <laughs> Wait, let me just uh, remove this out of the way. Because obviously I'm going to just send them flying. So before we do that, let's just have a quick look at this. So, there's two options. So for this to dangle off the paper clip, all this oops so it's going to be about there I suppose this will make it really long though won't it this one see this is too chunky of a bead to add on there but I was thinking of that first let's see if I can oh put that down a second get your tissue get your tissue Oh yeah, we can. Oh, then it was pretty bad. So I'm just going to. Oh, let's put it. I'm just going to put it in the number four because I'm thinking, what are she, what on earth is she doing? I know. And then we're going to try and put this. In there, I know it's slightly broken up there. I'm wondering if I should put it in this section. Will that stay that way? That's the question now. Let's try it. I'm just going to manipulate the actual paper clip a little bit to twist it round. There we go. We can do it. Come on. Probably break this whole thing before I finish. <laughs> so this is the idea now. Just gonna add that to there. this hopefully should be enough i'm gonna put a bit extra on because there's a bit of a raise on the paper clip there we are hot glue would have done it straight away stuck it down straight away not going to do it is it how else can we attach that then come on help me guys unless I do another hole in the four like behind the four let's have a little quick should we do a tinier a smaller hole so the four is about there right I'm just skin it now that's all in place, that's good. So if I detach it from this, oof. Oh, what have I started? What has she started, people? In my head, it was a good idea. That's all I've got to say. In my head. <laughs> I'm wondering. should a paper clip like that it doesn't have to look like a paper clip does it 
does it? As long as it's in there, it'll be fine. Let's put that the right way now. Otherwise that bit's gonna be a bit excuse me. What are you doing? Don't know man. Oh, I'm leaving the two there. Oh, you've lost your... Where have I lost it? I've lost the... Oh. This is a failed project, sorry. Soz. Maybe we could try to have this hugging mat. What are you doing? I don't know. Let's see if he's got another. How much of that is there? Let's see if we can try and manipulate it a bit. I'm going to use my tea, Soz. If you hear a crunch, that's my teeth. <laughs> so. No, it's because of the rays on the this actual element. I do like it though. You persevered with me. Thank you so much. That's actually staying. Sticking to that. She's got a slight angle. But I'm alright with that. Just wondering, should I add extra glue? No, that's fine. Oh my goodness. So my other idea as well was to add this as a like a little slot. This was from a photo frame or something. Then it then you can add other stuff in there, but I don't think we're gonna do that right now. That's gonna complicate everything. So go back to your string. Bring it to the side. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at the stuff in that cookie. Just go back, go back. They'll be fine. They'll be how you see it. Should we do a double one? An end, so you folded it in half. Oh, I'm gonna have to re glue that. Um, and then bring your fingers round, push all that through, so you've got a loop. He's shouting there, going, You can do it. I do want it that way actually. Going at an angle. And then <laughs> wow. Oh you know what? Let's put the wood paper clip thing behind here. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna daub over that. Gone a bit grey. The black spots made it grey, which is fine. Glue, glue, glue. That's what that space was there for. Oh gosh. That's what you were there for. Yes, so the reason why I wanted to put something related to time on there is just to signify 
how time flies and yeah imagine that that many years on earth today imagine that thank you so much for being here with me take care and see you in the next video bye